Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series. And we're over on Ragnarok today and we're stealing eggs. Well, this is the last egg I'm stealing here today because I am done. We have just found a max level poison egg, which is amazing. Let's pick this up really quick. And I don't think there's too many wyverns left in here because I literally just grabbed a 186 egg. So if there is any, they're going to follow me out and get shot down by my turrets. Although, yeah, it's not looking like there are any at all out here so that's pretty amazing now let me tell you uh recently when we were on valgiro um we picked up a max level ice egg over there right and in the background here i have been collecting eggs and i actually already have a max level lightning and a max level fire now this means that i have all four types in a max level uh, let's drop this in and we got a 186 to drop that into that one actually was almost spoiled so lucky yeah, I got that on time so where's the poison this is it right here let's drop it into there so in here we already have all four different types this is gonna be awesome so what I want to do here today is actually raise up a max level of each type of wyvern and I think that's gonna be really really cool uh, do we have any guys coming out of us here because sometimes when I put them into the fridge they start flying at my base I don't think so. I think I probably got them all with the uh, with the turrets a few minutes ago when I grabbed that 186. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure I actually already know what this uh, what this max level poison wyvern looks like because I saw it on the ground and it kind of looked like it was like um, kind of like gray or something like that. So, yeah, um, it was like dead on the ground. Obviously, my turrets killed it. So here we go. Let's let's hatch all four types of these. So. Uh, I don't know what any of the other ones look like actually I have no clue what the what the fire one looked like or the lightning one and I don't believe that we saw the 228 uh, ice one at all I do not believe that we did oh this is cool this is seriously cool looking we just have like oh what the hell <laughs> we just have like each type of egg right here and uh, they're all max level and they're all getting ready to hatch here let's see oh wow they're actually gonna hatch up super soon Ooh, geez. All right. Well, we got to be ready here. Um, so I'm hoping for some really amazing stats on these, but I guess we'll have to wait and see because, I mean, you could get a max level. It doesn't mean it's going to be amazing. So I'm really hoping that we get some pretty good ones here, though. But anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. If you find yourself enjoying this one, really just help me out. I do appreciate it, of course. And uh, look at this. This looks crazy. <laughs> these things are massive. I actually never realized how big they are. Oh, there they go. Yeah, actually picked them up. Let's give it a second here. Uh, yeah, they're at like 3%. Now they should be at around one. Sweet. All right, here we go. So let's hatch them up one at a time, actually, because then we'll have like a little bit less chaos. So let's see. Am I going to get any twins or triplets? That would be amazing. Uh, could you imagine if I accidentally hit E on this? Oh, <laughs> everybody would be so mad at me. So you know what? Let's hatch up the poison first. There it is. Yeah, it's kind of like a grayish weird looking color. I don't know. It's not very green. It's got like green on the other side there, but uh, kind of. I don't. I don't even know. I don't know if I've actually seen one that looks like this before. I've seen purple and the kind of uh, cobalty color on the back there, and then of course they're usually green in general. But that, I don't know. That gray kind of reminds me of like a lightning wyvern. To be honest, its wings just look like a lightning wyvern to me, like with the gray and the purple like that. But uh, definitely awesome looking. Let me check out your stats there, buddy. Uh, so you got pretty good health there. Pretty good stam, actually. That's really good. Uh, your melee is a little bit lower, but that's fine. Uh, you've got good stats up here, so that is completely fine. We go ahead and put you onto Disable Wandering. Oh, also, we're going to need name suggestions for all four of these guys. So, uh, maybe, like, wait till you see what they look like before you give one. But, uh, let me... Oh, crap. We're going to have to change the fall distance on you. <laughs> this is always such a mess. All right, hang on. Bam, bam, bam. Let's put you on lowest. All right, follow me, buddy. Come on, let's go out here. So it's kind of, it was like derping up there a little bit. That was weird. So I have a decent amount of milk in my fridge because I was, uh, I think, I think I've killed like three alpha wyverns in the past. Um, so yeah, we have a crap ton of that stuff. So we're all good to raise these things. Obviously it's just going to take a while. And uh, we have four to tend to at the same time, so hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. I don't think it should anyway. I might not use the nanny for this. I might actually just feed them milk normally. So I'm going to go ahead and unfollow on you. 
Now, which should we hatch up next? So we've got we've got the lightning, we've got fire, and we've got ice. Well, you know what? Seeing as people probably be, been waiting for me to hatch up this ice egg, let's go ahead and get this one next. Bam. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. Oh, man. That looks cool. It's got, like, the green. I love the green on the ice weapons. I think these ones look really, really awesome. It's got green, really nice blue on the wings, more green. Oh, damn, dude. We got a really awesome one. Let me check out your stats. Um, So your health is slightly lower than the poison one. So is your stam. Uh, your weight's, like, a lot higher from what I remember. And then your melee is, uh, it's okay. It's not amazing. But, uh, still pretty good. Definitely a good wyvern. You're also female. I do believe the first one was female as well. So, let's get you moved over there. Yeah, this thing looks awesome. I love the green. I really do. I remember we had a, an ice wyvern that was, like, green and blue. Like, but it was, like, kind of bright colors. This, this one's slightly darker with the blues. Um, but we had an ice weapon that was like green and blue in our original Ragnarok series and we called it uh, Cynthia Obviously, you know Syntac and it was kind of I think it was like a female as well It had Syntac colors, so we called it Cynthia. I thought that was awesome, but um Yeah, dude the freaking ice weapons have such awesome colors. I really like them uh, If only it walked a little bit quicker. <laughs> is it stuck on something or is it still on its way? Oh, yeah, it's stuck on something. All right. I don't even know what it's stuck on though Come on, buddy I love that their their headpiece kind of just looks like a um I don't know it looks like the Iron Throne to me to be honest like <laughs> it really does if you like take a step back and like look at it right there it actually looks like the Iron Throne that is awesome let's uh let's bring you over here and we got two more to go which should we hatch up next let's go with the lightning next okay I'm just gonna leave you right there sweet all right, lightning next, and then we'll do the fire last. All righty. So, yeah, this has been kind of like a plan in the back of my mind for a while. Um, I've been really hoping to, like, gather up all four types and uh, and then do this because, I don't know, I thought it would be a really cool video idea. Um, okay, your stats are... Oh, we're not really getting an amazing uh, look on the stats here. I mean, the health is pretty good. I'm not going to lie about that. The stamina is decent. I, unfortunately, it just has tons of points into oxygen here, which is really irritating because oxygen is not useful at all on wyverns. Um, it's got pretty good weight, and its melee is low-ish. But it's still, it looks pretty cool. I like it. It's got, like, the blue. You know what? This is an issue that's been in the game since lightning wyverns came into the game uh, back with Scorched, but... They just look down, so you gotta do this just to make them look normal. Otherwise, they look like they did something wrong. They they look like they're ashamed or something. You know, they just look directly down. And I never understood why they didn't. They never like fixed that or or anything like that. It's really really dumb. But um, yeah. Let's go. Ahead. I already did the wander right. So let's go ahead and put you onto lowest and move you outside. But yeah, that that's looking pretty cool. Actually, that kind of looks like um. I think I've had a wyvern that's looked very similar to this one before. To be honest, I think it kind of looks like my very first lightning wyvern. I don't know. Bring you out here, though. Um, so we have one more to go, the fire, and then we shall be done. Let's actually put it over this side here. So we have them in like a row. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, raising wyverns. This is, this truly is an amazing part of the game. These things are absolute beasts. Okay, you stay right there. I already did the wander thing. Yeah, we're all good. All right, last one. Here we go. And fire egg. Bam. Oh, damn. That one looks pretty cool as well. Wow, we got pretty lucky on the colors here today. Yeah, you look really awesome. Let's go ahead and disable wandering. And let me check your stats. Oh, dude, your freaking health is so low here compared to the others, at least. Your melee is pretty good. I mean, that's not bad at all. Your stamina is decent, too. Um, yeah, okay, pretty good. I mean, the, obviously the, the health is quite low, but that's fine. That is manageable. It's really nice color, though. I really like that. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and, uh, okay, we've already done that. So let me go ahead and just put you onto lowest and bring you outside. Just line all four of them up together. <laughs> all right, so... Yeah, we got we got really nice ones here today for sure like purple kind of gray and green and with a little bit of blue 
got blue and green we got blue and purple with a little bit of black on it and then this one in here is like orange red and black and that looks really awesome i like the black color on the wyverns on the fire wyverns i think it looks really cool you can kind of get like a white color as well sometimes and uh i like that as well because like most of them are already like orange or red in some way so having these types of colors look really cool but uh yeah this is looking crazy <laughs> all right i already did the wonder right do you believe yeah okay hard to remember so let me bring the poison one forward a little bit just to get them into a proper line come on buddy okay sweet so look at these guys oh man <laughs> this is crazy looking ah oh. yeah i think this one here probably looks the best out of all of them the ice one so awesome the ice kind of like point their head down a little bit as well but not it's not really as annoying as the lightning like here let me show you this one more time it's really dumb like what is that and that's when it's looking at you like i don't even understand it should have like eyes in the top of its head if it's gonna do that <laughs> it's just so silly so i think that kind of ruins the lightning one in my opinion i always thought the lightning was like the coolest and then i started to become a little bit um I started to kind of find like that the fire wyvern was a little bit cooler and then I switched to uh, Ice after a while. I don't know. I like all four, but like they need to fix that and I don't think that they ever will because it's been like that for years at this stage, but um Wow, I just noticed that all their eyes are like different colors as well We've got like the orange one here kind of like Sauron's eye We've got like a white with kind of like it looks as if there's like lightning or something going through there It's other eyes kind of like messed up yeah, the other eye looks kind of messed up compared to this one. You can actually see the the slit, and then on this one, you really can't. I mean, it's slightly noticeable. And you've got, like, kind of, like, an icy blue, and then you've got a, uh, like, a yellow and then a green. That is awesome looking. But, uh, yeah, so I think we're just gonna, like, stick around here for a little while. How long until your imprint? Two, four, six, eight, almost. <laughs> All right, cool. So it took us about two minutes per wyvern to actually get them out. So, uh, yeah, cool. We're going to be doing some imprinting here and getting these guys all grown up and everything. And then after, I don't know what we're going to do because I can't ride in four wyverns at once. At once, So, I don't know. Maybe I'll... Uh, maybe we can, like, level them up a little bit and then take all four of them to fight something. But not a Giga or a Titan because I don't want to lose them. That would just be dumb. So, I don't know. Maybe we won't do that. I feel like that would be a dumb idea because then I'm just going to lose one for sure. If I fight a Giga, I'm definitely going to lose one. And if I fight a Titan, I might lose one. So I don't know. We, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to think about what we're actually going to do with all four. I never really thought about that before. So uh, yeah, let me just check my milk stash. Oh yeah, we've got tons of it here. All right, cool. Well, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back and all of our wyverns are fully grown up now. Um... I assume the stats, yeah, no, they have updated. I actually had to restart the server really quick. Like, updates and stuff have been rolling in. So, um, yeah, the stats on the, on the lightning one fully imprinted and everything are these. Let's check out the other two up here. And then I want to bring them all down there because I have a little, little plan for something. Nothing amazing, but just something. Uh, so here's the fire stats, um... Wow, that, that health is like super low compared to the lightning, but that freaking melee is massive. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, pretty amazing as well. And then the poison down here. What do you got? Oh, okay. Hello. Right there. Sweet. Yeah, that health is awesome actually on this one. And the stam is super good as well. Alrighty. So what I want to do is I want to take a dermis of each of these creatures and we're going to go ahead and just... I don't know i just kind of want to like put them all together uh so oh i've got them inside the lightning wyvern i've got just some foundations and then some large taxidermy bases right here and we're just gonna make like a little circle of them for no apparent reason besides the fact that i kind of want to <laughs> grab all four sweet and then let's bring the lightning one down here and then we'll come back for all the rest maybe so um i i got a really good question which one of these wyverns is your favorite let me know down below. I was thinking of starting this thing on the channel where like occasionally like I'll ask a question in the video. Uh, although sometimes I'll probably forget to. But in my pinned comment down below, I'll have that question and then everybody can go and answer that. 
if you want to. So like it could be whatever like I don't know which which one of these wyverns is your favorite for this for this video. So yeah, that's today's question of the day. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be a cool way of kind of like gathering a couple opinions and stuff because I know a lot of people have different opinions when it comes to arc stuff. So like whatever your favorite creature is, like flyer or whatever, favorite wyvern. So yeah, today's today's question is which one of these wyverns is your favorite, and then which wyvern in general is your favorite to use. Um, so yeah, let me know down below in the pinned comment. So let me see. I wanna I wanna just space them out a little bit and have them all facing in towards each other. So nothing amazing, just a little display for today. Uh, let's chuck this one down the end here. You know what? Can I actually... I probably have to go a little bit... Hmm. How many is that there? That's... That's three right there, so I have to go one more. Can I fit another? Oh, I can. Sweet. All right. So, large taxidermy base there. And there. And then we have to go out by one more here. All right? Everything's correct so far, I think. And then... One, two, oh, oops. Oh, we can place one here and then remove that other one. All right. And bam. Cool. So let's add in the dermises now. So we've got the poison. So what we want to do is we want to change the scale to max and then we want to also rotate them so they're all facing inwards. Uh, Wait, what is this? Is this rotate? All right, cool. Sweet. Alrighty. So we'll probably edit the poses in a minute. So what do we got here? Uh, let's do fire and ice opposite each other. Oh, this one's already facing the right way. So change scale 1.5. So the S plus ones can actually do this, which is great. I honestly love the S plus ones for the specific reason that you can actually like edit how they look on the base. And it's really great. I love it. Is the lightning a little bit bigger? He kind of looks a little bit bigger. I don't know why. He probably isn't. Maybe it's just me. I have no clue. All right. And then you get rotated 180 degrees and then change scale to max. All righty. So <laughs> I probably could have put them in one, to be honest. Uh, will I do that? Nah, we'll just leave it for now. So let's put them all onto like the same pose. Let's see what they look like. Oh, dude, that's crazy looking. <laughs> You know what? If we made like a giant tower at some point in the series, it would be really great to like have have all four uh, types of wyverns like facing outwards or something as little. Um, what do you call them again? Oh. You know, like you know, on like older buildings where they have little like gargoyles and stuff like facing out um, off of like ledges and stuff. I don't know. What is there like a proper name for those? But yeah, just. As, as our little gargoyles, essentially. <laughs> I don't know. That would look really cool, like at the top of like a tower or something. So what's the other poses that they have? Ooh, that looks really cool. I prefer the wings up like this, but let's check them all out. Oh, man, that would be terrifying to be in the center of all of this. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. If they were a little bit closer, I should have put them closer. Damn it. Ah, whatever. Uh, and then we've got... That's not really that impressive. And then it's, I think that's the breath right there. So let's, um, let's put them to that. Bam. And then last but not, but not least, uh, cool. All right. Well, I definitely prefer the wings up or them flying at you. Those are the best poses so far. But, uh, yeah, this is super awesome as well. So yeah, which wyvern is your favorite out of all four of our types here? They all look really cool. Personally, I think my favorite out of my four today is is the ice and then after that i would probably go with the fire actually the fire looks really cool and then i don't really have a favorite between the lightning and the poison they both look pretty cool i actually quite like the the color scheme on the poison and then the lightning's just really awesome as well it's nice and blue and purple so yeah let me know down below so you know what let's take our guys out for a little bit of a spin here uh this is gonna be really messy i assume so Oh, I'm not excited to potentially lose one of these guys, but I will definitely try and not lose one, of course. Um, that's always an aim, not to let my creatures die. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> Follow me, my pretties. Let's go. Let's go over here. Probably should have them... Oh, actually, you know what? They are on lowest follow distance right now. They should be, at least. Is that fire going to get stuck behind? No, he's coming. All right, well, there was a Titan over here somewhere at one point. 
you know what? Let's go down and, and fight maybe these aloes. See, like, I definitely don't want to fight something silly like a Giga. I definitely would lose one of my wyverns, and that's just not fun. Ah. Oh, I'm hitting my own guys. Come on, boys. Get in there. Fight away at this last one. <laughs> no? Oh, man. All right. Well, I'll bite away at him then. Sweet. <laughs> Great job, boys. All right. We, we definitely got that one. <laughs> I think Wyverns follow you is is not good. This is not going to work out well. I could turn on all their breaths because uh, by default those are turned off. So essentially you can't you can't just like fly out with a bunch of things and have them like shoot their breath unless you enable it because otherwise you would end up probably dying by mistake. I remember my very first time like actually raising a Wyvern and then riding it the for, for the first time. I almost killed uh i can't remember who was with me in the video but i almost killed like a bunch of creatures at base because i had a lightning one and i was like yeah it's fully grown up and i was just like oh yeah this is awesome and then i realized that like the breath was actually well the lightning beam whatever it was actually freaking hurting their creatures then i killed like dire wolves and almost killed like another wyvern oh my god it was crazy so that was that would have been really dumb and i probably would have had to give up my wyvern if i killed somebody else's so I'm really happy that that didn't happen. That would have been awful. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, yeah, this is not going to work out well, like having them follow. So we've taken this guy out for a spin a little bit at least. Uh, I'm going to bring them all back to base and I'm going to ride on each of them. Uh, so in terms of levels, I'm going to pump this up to 20k at least. And then the rest goes into stam for now. We didn't get a huge amount of levels on this thing, but it's okay. We'll just wait for our stamp to come back and then i don't know what we should try out next maybe the poison and then we'll try out like fire and ice after that come on boys let's go it would be really cool if you could like maneuver them around a lot easier and get them to actually like uh attack without having to like fly around a bunch i don't know like there's some creatures that are fun to have like following you attacking creatures uh like hunting essentially and then there's other creatures that are just like a pain and i feel like flyers in general are just part of that category so let's try out the poison then oh i thought he was red for a second but it's the lights from my indominus rex containment pen which by the way didn't even realize this when i did this video but see how wide this is it's three wide right and then we go one two one two one two I don't know how I managed that one. It's like one extra wall, uh, like wider down here. And I never noticed. <laughs> so yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that one. I was so confused when I noticed it. I was like, wait a minute. What did I, did I like, did somebody change it? <laughs> Cause like, that's a mistake that usually I wouldn't make. I don't know. Uh, but somehow I managed to do that. I don't know how I did it, that though. I don't know. It's, it was really dumb. Um, and nobody pointed out in the video as well. So yeah, let's, you know, I shouldn't have mentioned that. I'll just cut that bit out. <laughs> oh man. And then there's going to be a comment on this video where they're going to be like, Syntax forgot to cut the bit out. And they don't realize I was joking. Uh, let's see. Oh damn. That's a decent amount of damage there. All right. That is pretty good. Let me shoot at this Bronto. Pew. Now with the poison breath, it really irritates me sometimes because like I'm hitting Okay, well, those two times just there it worked, but the first time didn't. Sometimes you hit and it just doesn't count. Um, so I don't know, it's really dumb. Well, I'm actually doing a lot more damage than my attack does. I love the Poison Wyvern for the simple reason that it's just raw damage and it's like a huge amount of it as well. Like the other ones have a breath and you have to stay on that creature. Like if you're using the lightning, you have to continuously hit the creature with the breath to do the damage. But with the poison, it's just raw breath or raw damage and it's like one hit and bam and like you can actually spam it a good bit obviously if you have stamina which i do not want right now i completely ran out let's uh pump that into stam lots of stamina on a wyvern always helpful let's see let's uh let's spam it a little bit here yeah so like i would have hit like three times there and that would have done roughly like 16 1700 damage so yeah that is really really awesome let's uh let's put you back and try out maybe i don't know what should we try out next 
Let's try out the ice river next. Ice wyvern next. <laughs> oh man. All right. So, even though this one looks the coolest, ice wyverns for me are just ah, oh, they're they could be so much better. They really could. Like they are cool, and um, you know that's an okayish amount of damage. You know they're not bad at all. But I don't know. I just kind of feel like their breath could be improved now with some of the new features, like the actual freezing effect that we have. Um, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of people disagreed with me when I mentioned that before. And I feel like a lot of people will disagree in general, because if you look at the Manic Armor or something like that, that might be a little bit OP on an Ice Wyvern, especially now that they're really easy to get by just going to Valgira. And like, you could just go over there and get like a bunch of them all at once. It's super easy. Um, cause they've got like their own trench and everything over here. It's, it's okay to get them. Like it's, it's not the worst. Like you'll find them, but just getting really high levels is going to be a lot harder than, uh, Valgiro. And I actually, I meant to pump stamina, but I pumped into melee. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I do these things. So yeah, this ice wyvern is pretty awesome looking, but like I said, probably if I was to go by abilities, the ice wyvern is my least favorite. Um, and then I really like the poisons, like the attack thing, like I was talking about a minute ago, but I think it's slightly hard to use sometimes on larger creatures. Like it worked perfectly today, but sometimes when you're flying around, it just, it doesn't work like it hits, but it doesn't actually count for some reason. And I don't know why that happens. Um, so yeah, I think in general, I like the fire probably for its attack. Uh, I used to really like the lightning, but then the flyer nerf came in and I don't know they were like the go-to wyvern killing creature for me so you used to be able to like fly around on the lightning one and like aim back like that and use the lightning breath and kind of hit them because you could obviously like get speed on wyverns back then uh so by imprinting you had extra and you could outspeed them to the point where you could actually just do this spin around in circles and just shoot lightning at them and not get hit at all and it was fantastic but then they changed it and yeah, not as good for me anymore. So fire, probably, then poison, then lightning, then uh, ice after that, for me, is my list. And then in terms of, like, how they look and everything, I, I think I explained that all earlier. Bam. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. That's a pretty good amount of damage. And the, the what is it again, DOT on uh, these guys is fantastic. Like, the fire just burns away at them. 60 damage per tick or whatever. So that's just insane. When it comes down to, like, fighting big creatures, fire wyverns are fantastic for just bleeding down their health. Um, lightning ones are fantastic for fighting titans, like titanosaurus, I do believe. Because, um, like, you can shoot them from afar and not get hit so much. But, yeah, I think they're all good in their own way. I just... I, I feel like the ice one could use some work. <laughs> Oh, look at that damage. Oh, man. That is insane. And you're dead. Sweet. <laughs> oh, all right. I actually should be saving all of this stuff. I know that we picked up some of that stuff earlier. I should definitely grab that out of the inventory. Um, let us take a look over here. Maybe there's some aloes or something to fight. Let's see. We got some horses everywhere. I got to get into horse breeding at some point soon. I meant to do that way sooner in the series and then the other day I was thinking like oh yeah like I, I need to be breeding this creature next I want to do that one and then I was like wait a minute there's something I, I'm forgetting about and then I realized horses like what the hell I completely forgot about it. none of you guys reminded me <laughs> so yeah we'll do horses soon I, I gotta actually tame up a bunch of them I think what held me back from doing it ages ago when like we originally were starting was the Kibble rework came out very soon after we started this series and they screwed up on horses. For some reason, they never gave them, they never assigned a Kibble to horses. So you weren't really able to tame them without using carrots. And I wanted to try to use Kibble. Now I do believe they take regular Kibble, which is the blue one. So that's not so bad. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I won't fly near Cheese's base just in case he has some stuff he doesn't want shown off. Let's take a look down here. Maybe there could be something. Some aloes or just anything. Bunch of sheep, actually. I could probably use some more mutton. Come here, buddy. Oh, wow. We just destroyed that thing. I can't even land. Oh, okay. There we go. I landed and then I flew back up by accident. It would have been great if... Uh, oh, that was 180 sheep. 
<laughs> oh, what have I done? It would have been great if, uh, like, when you kill things by setting them on fire like this, if the meat was cooked. At least some of it. I don't know. That would have been great. I'm sure there's mods that do sh stuff like that. I don't know. Look at this freaking meat gathering. Oh my god. So much mutton already. Four times rates on here and we get this much. It's just these guys are fantastic at uh, gathering it. That's a 174. We had a 180 and a 174 Ovis beside each other. You know what? We should tame Ovis and get some breeding on those things going at some point. Maybe make like a battle Ovis. That could be fun. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, you know what? I think that's probably going to be it for today. I don't really see anything around here to fight. And I guarantee there's nothing really over there because Cheese lives right beside there. So nothing's going to spawn right on his base. Um, so, yeah, that's probably going to be it for today. If you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, question of the day. Let me know what type of wyvern is your favorite in general and why. And then also which of my wyverns that I got today looks the best. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.